Yo, what's up nerds, it's MTG Man, and welcome back to another $100 deck tech. Uh, so, this one's $99.55, and we're going to be building for Nekusar the Mind Razor. Uh, so, each opponent draws an additional card, uh, at... Yeah, each, each player draws an additional card on their draw step. Uh, and then whenever an opponent draws a card, it deals one damage to that player. So the whole strategy is to wheel and burn and make your opponents draw. Um, so starting out with creatures, uh, Dakra Mystic can make each opponent draw, and you draw as well. Harmonic Prodigy is going to be doubling up that damage trigger on draw. Uh, Kami of the Crescent Moon makes everybody draw an additional time. Lore, draw, lore Broker's Extra Draw. Then the Pain Arst is removal and extra draw. Uh, Rune Survive Servitor is draw. Stormfist Crusaders draw. Uh, two Rock. So the deck is going to be playing a lot of wheels, which if you don't know what those are, it's discard your hand, draw however many cards. Um, and if your opponents are going to be discarding cards, well, you might as well get value from it with Two Rock. And or if you do happen to make their hand large enough because they're just drawing so many cards and they can't play them all, they're discarding at end phase. Turok does help with that. Um, Zenith Chronicler is draw. Uh, Gearson Starn Killer Morph. So it seems like an odd pick. However, uh, Nekusar is a deals damage trigger. So that's going to make each of his deals damage triggers 3 damage. So that's just going to help him go off. And it's a bit cheaper than some of the other dealing damage um, options. Uh, Howling Golem is another draw. Jace's Archivist and Magus of the Wheel are wheel effects. Uh, Noggle Ransacker is going to make each player draw. Whirlpool Warrior is a wheel. Uh, Zerzoth is going to help you value off those draws. Cutthroat Negotiator um, makes everybody draw, helps you create treasure. Uh, Urtai can counter spell and make them draw. Fate Unraveler, uh, it's just going to help you benefit off of their draws. Uh, Kess will let you recast your wheels so that you can make them draw again. Uh, Torbran will make that source deal two more damage, so. Nekusar will deal 3, or he'll deal uh, 5 with Gearson. Uh, Leer will help you uh, get your spells back. And then having spells be uncounterable is going to be really helpful. Because once the opponents figure out, hey wait, your wheels aren't helping me anymore, they're going to want to counter them. And Leer's going to stop that. Uh, Magis of the Jar is going to make everybody redraw their hand. Uh, Sizon deals damage and makes them draw, so it kind of comes out to a draw to lose four. Um, Terror Grid is again, if they're going to be discarding, um, plus a lot of decks do their own sacrifice stuff to begin with, you know, Viscerosia or whatever. Uh, so you'll gain value with Terror Grid. Uh, Torwaki the Younger is uh, another one of those. Uh, it, it, it's going to make you deal more damage. Plus, the deck uses a lot of instants and sorceries to make your opponents draw. So, he's going to be pinging. Uh, Dragon Mage is a wheel. Moving on to artifacts, we have, of course, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Demir Signet. Uh, Folio of Fantasies makes everybody draw. Uh, unfortunately, it makes everybody have no hand size as well. Um, which kind of hurts. Uh, since you want them to be discarding for things like Turok. Uh, Howling Mine. I don't know how the fuck this card got down to a dollar. It seems unrealistic, so we'll probably go with, like, this printing. Um, but it, it, it's an extra draw each turn. Is at Signet's Ramp. Uh, Poet's Quill gives lifelink to Nekusar, which can help out a little bit. Uh, helps you stay in the game. Same with Lox and Warhammer. Um, Ragno Signet's Ramp, Temple Mill makes everybody draw, uh, Teferi's Puzzle Box makes everybody redraw their hand, um, at their upkeeps, so if they're redrawing seven, that's seven more Nekuzar triggers, it's just gonna help the game speed up. Arcane Denial is a counterspell that also makes them draw, counterspell is a counterspell, uh, no shit. 
Uh, Vision Skeins makes each player draw two cards. Wheel and Deal is a wheel. Uh, they draw their hands, and they discard their hands, draw seven cards. Um, hurts that you don't get to do it, but Wheel of Fate's a wheel. Uh, Burning Inquiry is going to make each player draw three cards. And then you can also make them discard important pieces of their combo. Um, Mind's a Glow. It's going to be very rare that somebody else is going to be paying mana to help you out with this. However, this opposed to like Blue Sun Zenith that targets a single player, this is doing everybody. And that's kind of what the deck's looking for. Uh, same with Prosperity. Each player, Winds of Change, makes everybody draw all cards. Feed the Swarm is removal. Dark Deal is another wheel. Molten Psyche is a wheel. Wheel of Misfortune is a wheel. Windfall is a wheel. Uh, Wistful Thinking makes everybody draw two. Sorry, not make everybody. Makes target player draw two, which is okay. But then they're also discarding four, which is really good for Turok or Turgrid. And it makes sure they're going minus two in card advantage from this card. So I think it's good. Uh, Diminishing Returns is a wheel. Urza's Guilt makes everybody draw, then discard, then lose four. Um, so, it's just mass draw, and it makes them discard. Whispering Madness is a wheel. Deadly Tempest is the only board wipe I could fit, because it was getting really low on budget. Uh, Fevered Visions makes everybody draw a card. Uh, Magrim is going to make them lose life whenever they're discarding. Uh, Phyrexian Tyranny um, makes opponents pay two mana or lose two life whenever they draw. So it's just going to help speed up that game plan. So if a wheel makes an opponent draw seven, they're going to have to pay any number from 14 or lose 14 life just from Phyrexian Tyranny. Um, Spiteful Visions is, again, just like a little ping, pain, whatever. Um, the lands are pretty basic. It's kind of like pre-con land base, which I'm not too proud about, but Choked Estuary, Command Tower, Crumbling Necropolis, Dark Water Catacombs, Evolving Wilds, Forboding Ruins, Frostboil Snarl, Gyre Reach Sanitarium is going to make each player draw, uh, Islands, Mountains, River of Tears, Shadow Blood Ridge, Smoldering Marsh, Sunken Hollow, Swamps, Temple of Epiphany, Temple of Malice, um... Moving into cards, I wish the deck could have. So, I didn't have this in the list, but, uh, through, no, it's not Thrall Parasite. It's, a uh, uh, Cataract Parasite is just a double up of the Nekusar. However, it's only one mana. I wish it could fit into the card's budget. However, it doesn't quite fit. Um, the rest of what couldn't fit in the budget. Xander's Lounge is the Triome. It would help you cycle. It's, you know, just good color fixing. Uh, Fairy Mastermind. So whenever an opponent draws their second card each turn, you draw a card. So that makes your wheel go. Okay, so everybody discards their hand. Everybody draws seven. And then since each opponent drew uh, more than two, you draw ten. Uh, something like that. Uh, and then it can also force each player to draw cards, which is right on game plan. Orkish Bowmasters is a great card. It's a little bit of removal. It's a little bit of a threat, and it'll benefit from your opponent's drawing. If you wheel each opponent, they're redrawing seven. That's a 22-22 uh, Orc Army, and then 22 damage around the board that you're pinging with Orkish Bowmasters. It's pretty good. Uh... Thassa's Oracle, I think Thassa's Oracle, Demonic Consultation, you could put the combo in the deck. You're not always going to get to keep it because of wheels. However, I do feel a combo could f help with the deck's consistency. Master of the Feast is an additional draw I couldn't fit in. Uh, Wheel of Fortune is $250 because it's on the reserve list. It's where wheels get their name, um, and really any wheel deck would be better with it. Uh, Shieldred the Apocalypse is like... $60, $70 currently. Um, it would help with, um, you know, your opponents are drawing, they're going to lose life. I kind of use Gearson Starn as a, I don't want to say budget shieldred because it's like $10 itself. 
However, it's dealing two additional damage per draw on the um, Nekusar trigger. So it's acting somewhat like a budget shield druid. Um, Echo the Eons is another wheel. It can be done twice, so it just finishes off games faster. And then Blasphemous Act is another removal board wipe I wish the deck could run. I just couldn't fit it in the budget. Um, doing a little test hand, so... I, most games, I guess, would go like... Island... Uh, turn one, Soul Ring. Uh, turn two, River of Tears into Folio Fantasies. Turn three, Mountain. Tap out for Nekusar. Turn four, uh, Gyre Reach. So then we're gonna have each player draw three cards. You're pinging for three with Nekusar to each opponent. Uh, draw three. Go into turn five. Um, swamp. Uh, I guess cut. Cutthroat negotiator. Uh, pat. Wait, no. I wouldn't pass. I would go for Magrim as well because I had what? It was blue, red. Yeah. And then in for Magrim. Uh, turn six. Uh. I guess just one, sorry, land for turn, one, two, three, four, uh, draw for four for Folio of Fantasies, each opponent's losing four, swing in with Cutthroat Negotiator, uh, then each player's drawing a card, and, you know, just something like that. I mean, the deck's kind of slow, it's a bit gimmicky, it really hurts that the commander is five mana, um, but it, it could win a game, I assume, um, I don't know. I Give it a shot. Tell me what you think. Tell me what cards could be added. What do you think doesn't fit with the theme? Uh, whatever. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, that like, comment, subscribe thing everybody says. I don't really... Like, I'd appreciate it, but like, I'm not going to be heartbroken if you don't. So, uh, yeah. Have a nice day. See you later. Bye.